Hey guys, this is Real Appalachia with Shane. And Melody. And today we are back at it again. This time we're talking about a little subject that's pretty painful to bring up and address and hit head on, but uh, we're, just, we're calling this video the truth about homelessness in Appalachia. Yeah, and it seems to be a growing issue mm -hmm. um, in our area. A lot of, of people have been talking about how they've been noticing more homeless people. Mm -hmm. And it was like Shane was saying earlier in the car, um, it's something that a lot of people just think of as being an issue in cities mm -hmm. and maybe not an issue so much in Appalachia. But, you know, we do have some cities in Appalachia and we're actually seeing it in small towns around here too. So. Well, and it's just, just be honest, it's hard times for a lot of people right now. It the, is. With the, you yeah. know, inflation up and jobs, you know, unemployment still up. Yeah. In this area, it is, it's just tough times for a lot of people and mm -hmm. they're having a hard time right now. and. You know, we, we talked a lot about this, like everybody does with New Year's resolutions and that type of thing. Mm -hmm. We Our platform now, we do have 50 some thousand subscribers on YouTube and we got a big reach on Facebook and right. all across social media. It's like, we want our pages and our media to stand for something, so. Yeah, we want to be doing stuff to help. Yeah help our people and our communities in Appalachia and just anywhere that we can, yeah. frankly, but yeah. Yeah, and it's we're just a small thing, but in the grand scheme of things, but we hope if other people join with us that we can make mm -hmm. an impact and that's what yeah. it's gonna take. Yeah, and I think you had said this before too, you know, we may just be doing something small today, but you guys can do something small too. Yes. And we'll do something small every chance that we get and all these small acts will make a big difference. Exactly, yeah. that's how a big wave comes from a ripple, so. Yeah, and you know, one stereotype with Appalachia that's really true is the poverty being mm. higher and I feel like that is another issue that people that are not in homes right now that are living out on the streets you know that's another difficulty that they're gonna face well um, and the thing too the economic reality I don't want to get on a big tangent but is that businesses are struggling in a lot of cases or they're mm -hmm. tightening their belts and they don't have as much money so they pull back a little bit and and very variably that hurts some charities yeah there's and, not as much outreach yeah. um, we have a huge issue with mental health facilities in our area um, here in southwest virginia there's a facility in marion virginia that stays full and then the next closest one is like roanoke and yeah. from what i understand they stay full all the time too there's not as many resources here as what there should be so yeah and it's and you think about the homeless person they don't have a lot of advocates anywhere and it's mm -hmm. just you don't hire people trumpeting their cause and trying to get yeah. people attention now there are some good organizations working toward that and we're trying to find who they are yeah that's one of the things we, we did we searched around looking for people to partner with and uh, to help us help mm -hmm. folks so we're just trying to build a little bit of a network together yeah and Shane has just had surgery a couple of days ago, yes. but this is something that was important for us to do yeah. and he was feeling up to it today. So this is one thing that we're doing to help, you yeah. know, um, you go ahead and talk about the donor here. Yeah, one thing we were looking for people would be willing to help us help others because we're not people of great wealth, unfortunately. Right. <laughs> Maybe that'll change someday. Yeah. <laughs> but for now, we, you know, we both have bills, and I've got a eight thousand dollar surgery bill coming to me. So yeah. anyway, but we still want to help. You still want to give back because part of being uh, feeling good about yourself is to give to others. And yeah, and we biblical. want to do what we can. Yeah. yeah. So we found a company that I mm -hmm. can't say enough good things about. Absolutely. Uh, they're called KeyCow. K E E C O W. And we found them and found out that they have a mission based um, operation and mm -hmm. that for every pair of socks somebody buys, they give two pair of socks to homeless. Yes. So we re reached out to them, we spoke with them, and, and, and it sounded like we were all on the same page. And they just asked, How many pairs of socks could you use? And mm -hmm. I was like, This is, I don't want to be absurd here. We don't want to throw out the number 50. And if, done yeah they shipped it like it was priority mail it might as well have been the biggest order they got most yeah you think a celebrity ordered it it yeah. got there to my house so fast yeah and, and he and he wanted to get the big box that they sent to us but i told him no <laughs> because he just had surgery yeah. he is not lifting that box but we yeah. want to show the socks 
and they have this awesome little thing on the back this pair this is a pair of socks yarning with care knitting with love chases away your cold and darkness enjoy them and light hope to your future life so Isn't like I said, awesome? they gave us a side and I'm telling you, yeah. these are quality socks. So I they can't are. say good enough. They gave us a few pairs to try just so yeah. we could in, uh, mention them. They are and, so warm and yeah. thick and good quality. Yeah. And just any company that does something like this. So we'll put links to the, any way you can, if you have it in your heart to support them, just know that this yeah. is somebody that does give back and they put their money where their mm -hmm. mouth was with on this one because no, no, not one question asked. Didn't quibble. They sent it. They said, "What's your address?" Yeah. And and next thing I know, I got a notification that they were on the way, and and I was blown away how good they are. So yeah. we're going to be giving some of these away. And and, and I can't remember what video it was or the context that brought it up but we had someone that commented a woman that was talking about her son had gotten in a position that he was living out on the streets and that he had actually passed away from exposure and that weighed so heavy on our hearts and it makes me want to cry to even talk about i just can't imagine and it it's just huge to have a warm place to live and warmth and food and so many things that we take for granted every day and so we wanted to pitch in and we got some hats and some gloves and um you know we just hit the sale rack at walmart yeah. and got what we could and you guys can do the same just anything to make a difference for oh, people yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can imagine what it's like when you have nothing, something, even a little something would make a huge difference for you. Yeah, absolutely. So um, we've talked with some organizations in Bristol that are kind of helping with the homeless situation. And there's some blessing boxes. We're going to put new, not used yeah. um, stuff in there for people to grab that they might need. Um, I mean, we've seen so many women out walking the streets on 10 degree days without anything on their head, nothing covering their ears, their hands exposed. I mean, and things happen for a reason. Like when we went to Bristol, a homeless person came up to us, you mm -hmm. know, she was looking for money and that type of thing. And, and you don't know what to do. It's like, well, you want to help people and you can't just willy nilly just give, give money out like that too and you you know you don't know what the right thing is to do but one thing for sure is in cold weather and everybody needs some warmth and that's one yeah. thing we can we're, we're trying to make sure that we provide for some folks so yeah we're going to be going around like i said and like you said we're going to donate those to causes and to the blessing boxes and try to spread some love yeah absolutely but this is just a small step of hopefully of many that we make so absolutely I hope you guys will join along with us because we got the best people that subscribe and follow us to, that we are do. out there so Such i know parts. yeah so i know you if you're watching us you're going to fill a pool and try to do something yourself maybe in your community or to help this area or whatever the it spoke to you you know yeah absolutely so you know i hope you join us in this journey and mission and it's gonna be the most exciting video we've ever done but we're gonna get on the road right now and start delivering yeah absolutely and we hope you guys will do the same Thanks.